this at wiring cable and this as you can see thanks for driving through this is uh, their tornado damage where the wall collapsed surprisingly enough I do believe uh, a couple nights afterwards they were still working they still had employees in there so it didn't affect them that much but that brick wall just went right down all these is back in operation and surprisingly considering where all these is located and the path of the tornado they really got very little damage it was primarily that the electricity was out. And I really wish they would just tear down this entire building right here. This thing is a real eyesore. But I don't think they're going to tear the whole thing down, but they should. This is all owl wire. And the police really need to start enforcing speed limits on these streets. I mean, Rome never got really much money for tornado damage, but crap. You hand out some of these speeding tickets and actually enforce speed limits. Like that white car coming up on me. It going way over. These houses all got damaged pretty good. Hold up. Look at that. Just got the rough ripped off it. And these houses are still all abandoned. But. Huh. Get him, honey. But I mean, you could really enforce the speed limit on this, uh, what is that, South Madison Street? Uh, cops just never do. I think they're too afraid to actually pull cars over. Thanks a lot, news media. Huh. Another rough. I love this house. <laughs> this is on South Madison and the roof is absolutely gone, but I don't think they're going to tear the house down because they put a tarp over it. So I think they're just waiting for insurance. Getting a new roof. Still got a lot of houses to work on. There's another house that got hit really good. Really good. Look at that. Wow. The house just got totaled. But right through here, you can tell that the tornado went right through this area and just hit all this. A lot of rough damage right there. I'm really happy about my house. I got lucky. That's all it was, was luck. But, uh, I mean, look how the trees are just stripped. 
before the tornado happened. I mean, last year at this time, it was fine. I mean, it was a forest. <laughs> All these trees just got snapped. And this area got the brunt of the tornado, this neighborhood. Well, that in the neighborhood around St. Mary's Church. Uh, pretty much after that, it started to uh, peter out. <laughs> A lot of rough damage. Rough damage. More rough damage. A lot of rough damage. Rough damage. But I mean, <laughs> the city does absolutely nothing as far as helping. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's companies and there's businesses that donate money to uh, tornado repair, tornado relief. But look at this idiot. I'll give this moron a ticket way too fast. I don't know what it is with the speed limit on some of these roads, but the police, they do absolutely nothing to enforce the speed limits. Nothing. It's really sad. And it's been like this for years. I mean... <laughs> You think they'd actually notice. They probably do, but they don't give a shit. Which is the attitude of most police around the nation. I don't know, I think we need to put Trump in office and light a fire under their asses. the Trump house. Got Trump. But once again, it's politics because if you go through Rome prior to an election date, you see more Republican election campaign posters than you do Democrat. And I think that really perturbs uh, Governor Hotchell and the rest of the Democrat community so we never got that much I mean we had about 30 million in tornado damn wild look at that tree <laughs> stripped down one side some branches on the other might make it although the winter will decide too much snow on one side of that tree and rest of it will come down but these houses were generally spared but all this wasn't look at the size of that it just lifted it right up Fuck is this guy going? Well, like I said they really need to start enforcing speed limits around here. Some nights I come down here to fish, and let me tell you, you can just hear the cars go from one end to the other, just rocketing right through. And this homeowner figured, well, the tornado took care of knocking down a bunch of trees, so. Now I got more space. Ah. But he's also got some tornado damage, it looks like. A little bit of siding. But, uh, this area had about 30 million in tornado damage. At least that's what it'll probably be by the time everything is finished. And uh, Governor Hotchell gave us about 4 million. 
I don't know what it got spent on. Why, he doesn't have enough road to move over? <laughs> Idiot. And, uh, I mean, she really ripped off Rome, New York. Here comes another one they could hand a ticket out to. You see, it's a brand new paved road, so all the idiots go on it and they just rock it up and down. You can see tornado damage pretty much all the way out to Route 360, Route, uh, what is it, 49, 365, in front of the state prison. Boy, they really need to have cops on this road. They don't do much all day, but they sure as shit speed. Yeah, they do drive awfully fast. Got the Amish here. I don't see their, uh, I see their horses. We'll go and say hi. We'll go and see the horses. Horses. Usually the Amish, they put a boat on their carriage, a canoe, and they just go down. Let's see the horse. Just one. Hey, you. A horse. It's a horse, a horse, a horse, of course. And right in here is usually where the Amish keep their horses and uh, the city and the DEC are going to remodel this area, I guess. But it'd be nice if he extended this area where the boat house is and extended it out maybe about 20 feet and made it like a uh i don't know some little stable for a couple horses doesn't have to be much you know and just put a roof over it that's the path right near the boat launch here of where the tornado came out of but uh, even the railroad tracks were shut down for quite a while. Um, it wasn't until a few hours after midnight that the train started running again. But uh, yeah, it was because of debris and trees covering the railroad track. And uh, it's a primary track. CXX uses it 24-7. And uh, you can see more tornado damage out towards the state prison as it cuts through. Yeah. So it didn't necessarily start on Muck Road. But, you know, these are professionals with PhDs saying that. So everybody believes them. But if you people would get off your lazy butts and come All aboard on. the Trump train. All aboard. Huh. I always like the flag that says no more bullshit. I agree. <laughs> but the fact is, the, the news says it'll be a really tight election. I don't think it's going to be a tight election at all. I think either one or the other is going to win by a landslide. like her hair. <laughs> yeah. Even Scotty's escaped a lot of damage, which is a good thing. That's the roller skate. Skate a while. Scotty's! 
It's got any two hotties. Tops had in uh, Marshalls and Grand Union, formerly Tops, had a lot of damage. And you can see uh, St. Mary's Church from here, and it's got no steeple. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs>